Welcome back, my terrible government employees, to another episode of BTD Science. Today, we've got the 401 Ninja versus the Dark Monkeys. So as you guys probably know, with BTD Science, the way I like to test things out is I like to do it based on money. How much money are you spending on these towers to get this certain amount of popping power, and is it worth it to get that? So that's basically what we're testing out today, and that's why it's a 1 versus 4. It seems like an unfair battle, right? Well, you're spending just as much money on this ninja as you are on the dart monkeys. So we started off, we just sent out round, uh, I think it was 35 right here, and you can tell right now, man, we are just annihilating these balloons so far. Like, no chance whatsoever. Four dart, dart monkeys, surprisingly powerful. I should mention, though, that these dart monkeys are actually not all the same. I've got two two three O's and two zero three twos. So, uh, all four are triple dart monkeys, but one of them can hit camp, two of them can hit camos, and two of them are just extra pierce or extra damage. So, uh, it's, it's going to be a pretty close battle. They can pop some camos, and uh, they can do a lot of damage. What I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to test against Bloons, and so far it's a pretty fair battle. You really can't see who is winning. They're popping things almost at the exact same spot, but the Ninja finally starting to suffer at least a little bit. The Bloons are starting to try and sneak through against us right here. Can we pop them all? And it looks like after all is said and done, the Dart Monkeys are more powerful than even the fourth tier ninja. Who would have expected that? I know I wouldn't have. This is a 401 ninja, so it does have the seeking shurikens and all that. This is a very popular tower that a lot of people are going to use in their gameplay. Is he going to be worth it? If we could just spam a couple dart monkeys for possibly better popping power. So now we're going to send out a quick Moab right here. We're to see who actually has more Moab popping power. It already seems like we've got more um, balloon popping power with our dart monkeys. Let's take it up a notch. So now, ooh baby, it looks like these dart monkeys are going to pop this Moab just a little bit quicker. How about the balloons inside, baby? And they are going to take down a lot of the balloons, but not quite all of them. Some of them are going to leak through. And for the ninja, though, oh snap, dude. Just about all of them got through. We barely popped any balloons on that guy. And I don't think the positioning is going to matter all that much. Sure, his shurikens can seek, and maybe somehow some blooms will get in the way where he can end up hitting those blooms at the end there. But overall, it seems like these dart monkeys really are the kings of popping power. But we got to move on. We've got to keep on testing out a couple more of these um, more obscure rounds over here, and including camo balloons. So the Dart Monkeys still struggle lugging over here. They're going to end up losing a few lives to these ceramics, but nothing compared to the ridiculous full health ceramics sneaking through against my ninja over here. Actually, I think one ceramic got through against these Dart Monkeys. But because they do have some camo detection, they can end up popping some of the camos. So I guess the main difference that we're talking about right now, or at least so far, is the fact that the Dart Monkeys can't pop camos as well, but they do have more balloon popping power and more Moab popping power, which is actually probably the most interesting aspect. I always think of uh, ninjas as Moab popping power, but eh, not as much as we might expect. Um, one other thing that I should mention, though, is that if you're planning on powering these guys up with maybe an alchemist, maybe... With a single alchemist up to third tier or fourth tier, you're not going to be able to power up all four dart monkeys, where one alchemist can do some extreme power-ups to a ninja right here. The main difference between between these guys is that you're going to add just a little bit of extra damage and just a little bit of extra speed to both of them. But the damage is not going to mean as much for the dart monkeys because they're already fairly powerful. They already have quite a bit of pierce. But the ninja doesn't have that much pierce. Each one of these shurikens only does four... Uh, pierce to each one of these balloons, but we throw five shurikens, so technically we only can pop 20 balloons per shot. With the Alchemist doubling our damage and increasing our popping power overall, we're doing, I don't know, like four times as much damage, which is pretty insane. So against the BFB, well, we're really not expecting anything all that much different than usual over here. Dart Monkeys, again, they're better against above class balloons. They can just damage these balloons, and they're very efficient, they're very quick at what they're doing here. So we're not only going to just damage this BFB right here, but get down to almost killing these mobs. Maybe we will. Can we? Come on, little dark monkeys, can you reach? Oh, baby! No, not quite. We're not going to pop them on either side, but you can definitely tell with the dart monkeys, we do do damage. 
to the mob class pollutants where we don't do any damage with our ninja right there. Mm, a little bit on the, on the stat side here, guys. So now I want to test out how about, a, how about group moabs? Um, you know, are more balloons just getting, are, are, you know, is the ninja somehow going to be more powerful against grouped mobs in some special way that we just don't understand the game yet? And it seems like, no, it's pretty much the same thing here, guys. It's very similar still, because some of our dart monkeys aren't going to go through infinite balloons or anything like that. Very similar. But the dart monkeys are again going to win out even against five moabs over here. Fairly interesting. Now, if you went for distraction instead of the Seeking Shuriken, anything goes. That is a completely different upgrade, and of course it's going to work in different ways. But overall, as a Seeking Shuriken 4th tier ninja versus some Dart Monkeys in the early part of the game, um, you're almost always better off going with the Dart Monkeys, unless you plan on powering up your ninja fairly quickly in the game. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you press that like button for me. Um, and, oh, the last test I wanted to do actually was the reinforced ceramics. Could somehow the ninja be more powerful against these reinforced ceramics right here? Sadly, as per usual, man, not that much of a difference, actually, but it seems like the ninja end up losing just a little bit. If you guys enjoyed, press that like button for me. If you got any ideas, throw them my way. I'd love to hear them, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.